Okay, guys, I'm here today with George Lukhard. Yes, sir. And uh, he's, in, he's probably like the best nutritionist in the world. He has worked with the best athletes in MMA. We got obviously Conor McGregor, we got uh, Frank Yeager, Jeremy Stevens, uh, we just got Max Holloway, Dan Cormier. So, probably like the best MMA guys out there. And uh, we, we shoot a video here today with him, and he was explaining to us like everything he does about dieting, this and that. And it's so knowledgeable. So I'm gonna ask him some questions today that can help you. So for example, George, in your opinion, what's the biggest mistake you see like Jiu-Jitsu guys doing? Those guys that they, they were waiting the same day of the tournament. UFC guys, people are like, man, they, they make these massive cuts. And uh, the reason they can make these massive cuts is because they have 24 hours to reload. Um, and like you said, with BJJ, you know, you have to wait and right there and then, and, and you have no time to reload. So if I deplete my my body, uh, I think one of the biggest mistakes that people need to understand, like this is where I naturally gonna sit. So if you don't walk into the tournament weighing what you weigh, if you're trying to cut that day, uh, your performance is gonna decrease. And I've said this time and time again, 3% dehydration equates up to 30% decrease in performance. Uh, That's 30%, that's uh, the most. So I mean, you know, you're a world champion, but I mean, honestly, if I took 30% yeah, away from you, yeah. that would that would definitely have a, that would have a huge impact on, on the outcome of a, of a tournament. So oh, I agree. Yeah, and you mentioned one thing today here that uh, it's exactly how I think. Like, uh, you mentioned like that you always tell your athletes to eat in the day of the tournament the same that they eat during the week. Yeah, right? 100%. Yeah, that's like, I think it's one of the most important points, in my opinion. And uh, now moving towards MMA, what's the main mistake you see the MMA guys doing when they're cutting it? We probably you see a right, bunch right. of mistakes. Oh man, yeah. tons of mistakes. Um, I think uh, you know some people they cut when they don't need to cut. You know, I think that and people automatically assume that it's going to be a, a, a massive advantage. Well, man, if I'm winning at 170, if I if I get to 155, then man, I should be dominating. And that's not necessarily the case. You know, um, one of one of my jobs is to to actually inform people like you know like. This is this be a good cut for you. You know what I mean. Your body can handle this cut. You don't have the frame to uh, to to fight it this way. This is where you should be. Um, and I think people they they uh, they see cutting and they look at it as such an advantage that the more that they cut, the the better the advantage. And it's not necessarily the case. Like I said, right. if you're uh, if you're fast in your weight class and you try and go down a weight class, guess what? People that are lower weight class, they're probably going to be faster. So that's probably not a smart move for you to go down. Yeah, they, I saw you, you telling today about like uh, when they're in the bath cutting the weight, your uh, five seconds rule. Can, can you talk about that? That was awesome. Oh yeah, no, yeah, dude, the thing is, it's like uh, a lot of people, you make weight and you go through all this this stuff. Um, and this happened in the UFC a couple of times that people were cutting weight and they actually passed out and they hit their head, you know, and they weren't able to fight the next day. Um, so what I say is you gotta, you'll keep it very, you know, keep it simple. You gotta keep it to these basic rules and I call it the five second rule. Five seconds to sit up, five seconds to stand, five seconds to step. Uh, what happens when you cut weight, your blood pressure drops drastically. And uh, when you stand up, that blood doesn't have enough time to fill the body. So you just go out and, um, you know, make sure that you give yourself enough time. Don't make stupid mistakes. Don't go all the way to the end. Put all the training in, all the practice in. Uh, make the weight and then not be able to fight.